Hey everybody, how are you doing? It's almost the end of summer. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful August. I wanted to do a short video on a comment that was left on uh, the bottom of one of my posts about should humans eat meat? I had written a blog post about that subject and then someone read it and made a comment and I felt that this could help someone out there because it's something that a lot of uh, vegans or newly vegans go through. So this gentleman um, posted a comment. I'm going to read it. He says, I rarely eat meat, but when I do, I'm at someone's house. They cook a meal. It's hard for me. If I had it my way, I'd never eat meat because I see that animals have souls and they just have souls like we do. They play, they love, they're happy, they get afraid, they get angry. And so I thought, gosh, here's someone who is an ethical vegan, doesn't want to eat the animals, and yet they feel that they have to because they're invited to someone's home and don't want to hurt the people's feelings or make them feel uncomfortable or that they don't appreciate this meal that they've made for them. And I asked him that. I said, is that why? It's, it's just you feel uh, uncomfortable? And he said, yes, it's hard for me. Um, I do it, I eat it to be polite because they went out of their way to fix it. And so, of course, I wrote something a little harsh. <laughs> I said, my two cents are, why should I feel bad? I'm doing something good for the animals. I love the animals, good for my body. They're the ones that should feel bad cooking up uh, murdered animals. But, all right, everyone's not there yet. I'm not going to go radical. I want to be all-inclusive. So, so I'll tell you a story about something that happened to me. I went to a party. Uh, my mom, my husband, and myself went over to some friend's house, and they had about 10 people there. They have the music going. They're Latin, so they really know how to have fun, right? So they've got the wine flowing. They have the hors d'oeuvres passed around. They're cooking some kind of big slabs of Argentinian meat out in the back of the barbecue. And so I knew, of course, I'm not going to be having any of that, but they had a beautiful salad. They had some great nuts. Um, olives, real exotic kinds, and I was perfectly fine. Uh, didn't mention, I didn't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable and mention that I wouldn't be eating the meat, but when it was offered to me, I did say, you know, no thank you, I'm vegan. And the hostess said, Adolfo, how come you didn't tell me Marla's vegan? I can't believe this. I would have had something. And she went on and on. I'm cringing. Adolfo's like give, shooting darts at me. Later at home, he's telling me, how could you make everybody feel uncomfortable? You always do that. And he was not happy about it. Uh, he's obviously not vegan. And so how I do it differently, which I didn't think it would be a problem for me just to say that, but obviously it was. So the next time if that's, uh, if I'm in that situation and I'm offered uh, some meat, I'll just say, I'm not that hungry. This is just fine. I'll just make up some, you know, excuse. Because uh, I'm a light eater anyway. So I learned something there. Now, going to someone's home for a dinner party, uh, and this guy is going ahead and eating something he doesn't want to eat, I feel it's perfectly okay to announce that before when you accept the invitation to say to the host, hostess, listen, I just want to let you know I'm vegan, uh, I'm happy with side dishes, a beautiful salad's fine with me, but I'm also happy to bring something. I can bring a, a side dish or you can suggest something. If it's your friends who already know you, then they're already going to know you're, you're vegan. And listen, I'd rather go a little bit hungry than eat something that I don't want to eat. You can have something later when you get home. I mean, we're not going to starve, and we eat too much anyway, generally, right, as people. So I, don't, I really don't think it's a big deal. And never go against your ethics, go against the grain, go against your feelings, your gut. That's what you believe, and that's how you feel. You do what you need to do. Um, I, I don't think it's a good idea to bring it up at the dinner table while people are eating and they might ask, hey, why are you vegan? They're eating the meat, they're eating the cheese, whatever. You don't want to put a damper on, on their meal, even though you wish you might want to convert everyone, right? But you, you don't want to do that at that time. You might say, hey, if you're really interested what switched me, I can email you a video about it tomorrow or give me a call, I'd be glad to tell you. People always ask me how long I've been a vegan and I just say, many, many years, a long time, and getting into the whole thing about it at the party, not a good idea, uh, but 
it's great to follow up because I had a dinner party one night at my house and a couple of my neighbors were over and I cooked everything vegan. It was great. And both of them claimed to be animal lovers. I love animals, but only certain animals. They don't obviously love the chicken, the cow, the pig because they're consuming them. So I touched on it during the meal because they asked, but then I followed up the next few days with some great information and some videos, I said in case, because they had asked and said they were maybe contemplating uh, doing a switch or thinking about it or wondering what it's all about because they really didn't know. So I provided them with some information. So we want to be loving to our non-vegan friends. We want to uh, educate them nicely. Um, and give that information if they're curious about it. But I will never apologize for not eating animals, and I will not compromise my feelings and my ethics by eating something that I don't want to eat. So if the other people are uncomfortable, that's going to be their issue. I stick to my, my ethics and my feelings and my gut. And my guns! I stick to my guns! Much love to all of you. Namaste.